dismantle health care, and it is filled with talking points. Democratic strategist Chris Hahn says he's not happy about these threats to not fund health care. Chris, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Brian. All right, well, Michelle Bachman said it earlier this week. You just heard Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn say it. This is going to come under attack. What do you make of it? Well, you know what? Those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it. In 1932, the Republicans took 72 seats from Franklin Delano Roosevelt and took the majority back in the House of Representatives. They tried to repeal the New Deal, and they were sent packing till 1995. I believe that the Republicans will overreach again, and they will be sent packing again for 50 years. Good luck. I hope you can do it. And to quote them, bring it on. Well, as the president, we just talked about it, the president in his press conference at the end of the year didn't mention it. Do you, you know, think the president is backing away from crowing about it a little bit? You know what's going to happen on January 1 when millions of Americans, uh, kids who are in their 20s, are put on health insurance? They're going to be very happy about that. And when their congressman starts taking it away, trying to take it away, well, they're, they're going to tell their congressman about that. People who have pre-existing conditions who are not being denied from coverage because of this bill are going to be pretty happy about that. Senior citizens who fall into the donut hole on their prescription drugs are going to be happy now that they're getting a benefit that this Congress has provided and that this president provided. It's going to be harder and harder to take away. Now, why the president didn't mention it in his press conference, he's been talking about it nonstop for two years. So give him a break on that. There's been a lot to accomplish this okay. week. These what? last two weeks have been full of accomplishments for the president. One of the criticisms that Democrats laid against Republicans when they countered the health care law was that it was fear-mongering and it was scare tactics. But when I look at this Democratic talking point memo that was put out saying that basically the Republican attempt is going to, you know, shut down rural care centers, leave 29 million more people unemployed, help kill Medicaid. Well, you know, th this is a scare tactic. Not fear. It's not scare tactic if it's true. I mean, what they're talking about is true. 29 million people will be, will be without health benefits if you repeal this. And here we are on Christmas Eve talking about taking away health insurance from 29 million Americans. Those are Shame people that are them. going to be added, though, Chris. Those are people that are going to be added. Well, right? And that comes with a bill. Well, listen, I'm sure you know that what? every American, Republican, or Democrat wants children and people to have health coverage. Here we are on the night but, before. But we don't want to pay it. Here we, we are on it. the night before Christ's birthday talking about how are we going to pay to care for our fellow uh, citizen, our neighbor, our people in need across this country. A shame. It's a, it's a shame. I am, I, I am ashamed of the Republicans for that. That is they not a shame because Medicare and Medicaid were never intended to be long-term care programs where people can go to the doctor every week. You know they what? were meant to handle crises Brian, and big bills. That's not why they were implemented. Brian, health care is one-sixth of our economy. We spot our competitors 10% of our GDP on how we pay for health insurance. And what do we get for it? Some of the highest infant mortality rates in the country some of the shortest life excuse me some of the shortest life expectancies on the planet what are we paying for and what are we getting this starts it uh, starts to improve that system and put us on the track to uh, affordable health care that's going to be a benefit to all of our citizens here in America and here on Christmas Eve I think we should be talking about the benefits of this like kids being able to stay on their parents insurance longer and, and insurance companies not being able to deny people care because they have pre-existing conditions. I'm very thankful for that and very grateful for the president and the Congress for passing this. And I think most Americans will be too. And the Republicans ch try to take it out at your own peril. First of all, you won't succeed okay. and it will cost you in two years. Well, even Chris on with a fiery debate. Hope you have a great holidays and a happy R new year. Ryan, we'll Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> happy Christmas. New year. We'll see you soon. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. All right. Funds